What's up, guys? We're going to make a phone call real quick. Okay. Call Billerica High School. I'll explain in a moment. Thank you for calling Billerica Memorial High School. Please press the whole one menu for the we go down. I've already called press a couple two times. For the school nurse. Call the main press office three first. For guidance and help. Cook at the Lurica Memorial High School, the main office. I'm not at my desk at the moment, but if you could please leave a detailed message, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, my name is Eden Carney. I'm a concerned parent who was just told that Monica Cannon Grant spoke at the school today for Black History Month, and I would like to speak to somebody about why this occurred and who vetted this person because she's currently facing 18 charges in federal court for fraud. Uh, you might not have been aware of that. You could have been aware of that if you just searched her name, but if you could just call me back, my phone number should have come up on your call. Uh, I am recording this, so I don't have the... I'm just not going to say it over there, but you call me back when you get this, please. Thank you. All right, so that didn't work. Let's try... The principal's office. Thank and then you we'll for try calling guidance. Billerica Memorial High School. Please prep. Hi, you've reached Maria Jenkins and Mr. Murphy's Maria office. Maria Jenkins. I'm unavailable at the moment. But if you leave me a brief message, I'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks, and have a great day. Hi, Maria. My name is Aiden Carney. Uh, I'm a concerned parent fighting racial justice, or fighting for racial justice, and I just got wind. I was told by a student uh, that the speaker today at the high school for Black History Month was a woman by the name of Monica Cannon Grant. I wanted to know if this is true or not, because as you might be aware, if you search for her name, you'll see that she is currently facing 18 charges in federal court for fraud. So I'm not sure why somebody like this would be invited by the school to be a speaker. So please call me back when you get this. My number should have shown up on the on your phone or whatever. So thank you. Bye. All right, let's call it guide. Let's call it guide. Does anyone in Billerica High School ever pick up? Bill Ricka Memorial High School. Please press one for the absent line. Nope. Press two for the school nurse. Nope. Press three for guidance and house offices. Maybe. Press four for athletics. Press five for special education. Press six for the coordinators. Press seven for nutrition services. Press eight for project support pre-K. Press nine for the principal's office. Press zero for the operate. Oh, we do guidance. For guidance, press one. That's what For the press. registrar, press two. For Mr. Lorden, oh, press yes. three. For Mr. Flood, press four. Sarah Eaton, guidance secretary at Memorial High School. I am not. So apparently, there's just no one's answering. So we'll see what happens. If this is freaking true that Bill Ricka High School invited this felon, this racist, violent, ratchet felon to their school, unacceptable. Unacceptable in a place like Bill Ricka, too, of all places. Give me a break. So stay tuned for this.